Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel shofikradwan.com Today I want to discuss and law sub a law subject that is a specific relief act 1877 I want to discuss this law subject chapter by chapter part by part and section by section you know that there are 10 chapters in this in this law in this act and there are three parts and there are 57 section okay before that we i want to mention you that you must remember a doctrine which is made by me that is you remember fo de tasha doshu if you remember this fo de tasha doshu i think in exchange of this figure and figure must be figure must be 55 crores 9 lakh 1451 55 crores 9 lakh 1451 you must remember that 4 equal to 5 they equal to 5 ta equal to 9 sha equal to 1 and and do equal to 45 Shu equal to one. I think by Shu, you must under the, understand that Shu need this to potikar ein. By Shu. Okay. Specific Relief Act 1877. Uh, 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 just uh, is being, being uh, done, being spoken spoken by me okay there are three parts of this act of this act one part is we start from one section to seven section and second part is start from from the section Eight to forty forty five for uh, forty five to fifty one. I think fifty is still fifty one. The part two two is interminated. Interminated. Part one creates creates seven section one to seven. Part two creates so many section from A to A to fifty one section. You have to remember that forty one to fifty one sections are omitted. Omitted uh, uh, that has been included chapter eight. And you have to remember that chapter 8 is omitted. And part 3 has been started uh, from the section 52 and, and uh, has been terminate, terminated uh, at the section 57. I mean part 3 creates, creates uh, some section from 52 52 to 57 okay now how many chapter has been i uh, have been made in this three part three part i mean uh, uh from uh, the beginning beginning uh, beginning section uh, from 1 to 7, I think uh, there is no chapter and uh, from 
part two, part two creates so many chapters, so many chapters. Uh, that means chapters number two, two, chapter number eight, and part three creates two chapter. That is number nine and number ten. Now we discuss the act section to section, section by section. Okay, uh, section one uh, just uh, discuss about the uh, title, title, short title. Section section two is repealed, and section three discuss about the interpretation uh, clause. Okay, my dear uh, guys, just I want to mention here, discuss about, you know that uh, after discuss, you uh, should not use the preposition, but in the uh, Indian uh, commentators, Indian speaker, uh, it is very generally spoken, discuss about. That's why I uttered such type of matter, uh, discuss about. But you have to remember that you shouldn't, shouldn't use uh, about uh, after the word discuss. Thank you very much. Come to the point. Now, section four, savings. And section five, specific relief, specific relief, how given. I mean, Specific relief how given the the uh, most and foremost chapter is a uh, chapter uh, is this the specific relief how given section six preventive relief okay what is the de defini uh, definition of preventive relief here you find out and section seven relief that cannot be granted to enforce penal law section 8 recovery of immobile property section 9 should by person who is disposed of immobile property section 10 recovery of is specific movable property section 11 Liability of a person who is in position, not as an honor to deliver to the person who is entitled to immediate possession. Section 12. There are some contacts that are in force, uh, in for, uh, force, that can be in force, that can be in force, or that are enforceable. Section 13. A contact of which the subject has partly been ceased to exist. Uh, section 14 is this performance of a part of a contact where an unperformed part is small. Section 15 is specific performance of a contact where an unperformed part is large section 16 a specific uh, performance of an independent part of a contract section 17 but in other cases of a specific performance of a part of a contract section 18 purchase a right against bender of a part of a contract section 18 purchase a right against a bender with an in perfect title. Section 19. Power to our compens compensation in money in the certain cases. Section 20. Liquidation of damages is not a bar to a specific performance. Section 21. Contacts which are not enfor enforceable. There are some contacts that are not enforceable section 21a an unregistered sales contract is not specifically enforceable section 22 section 22 discusses about two points 
One is discretional power of the court as to decreeing the specific performance of a contract and other is discretional power of the court not to decreeing the specific, specific performance of the of a contract. Section 23. Who may obtain who may obtain a specific performance? Section 24. Personal bars. We have to remember this point. Personal bars. To the relief. Section 25. Contact to sell property by one who has no title or who is a voluntary settler. Just you have to remember this point. Uh, who is a voluntary settler? Section 26 discuss about <coughs> discusses about non-performance of a contract except with variation. Just to point out that section 26 discusses about, about a point except with variation. Just you remember this point except with variation. Section 27, relief. Against party and person who are claiming under them by subsequent title. Just you remember this point in the section 27 by subsequent title. Section 27A discusses about a specific performance of a contract in case of partly performance of a contract as to lease. As to list, just you remember this point as to list, which is discussed in the section 20, uh, 27A. Section 28 What parties or which parties cannot be compelled to perform a contract? Section 29 discusses about a bar of shoot. Bar of shoot. For breaching the contract after dismissal. Or for breaching of a contract after dismissal. Section 30. You have to remember this point. Section 30 discusses about the point to execute settlement. Thus, uh, now, the uh, section 30 discusses uh, uh, about uh, the subject which is the application of pre uh, preceding section application of preceding section uh, to award an testamentary direction to execute settlement just you uh, remember this point uh, in regards to award and testamentary direction to execute settlement to execute settlement section 31 discusses about about the points when instrument may be rectified. Section 32 discusses about the presumption as to intent of parties. Discusses about, uh, about presumption as to, as to the intent of parties. Uh, 33 discuss about the, about, about the contents principle of rectification. Section 34 discusses about a specific uh, performance of a rectified contract the, uh, I'll just point out this uh, point out this matter uh, 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 by these words just uh, specific enforcements of a rectified contract 35 section 35 uh, discusses about when a uh, recession may be exhausted. Section 36, recession for mistakes. Section 37, as alternative here for recession in the suit for specific performance. Section 38, the court may require party who is resigning to inquiry. And another point, 
The court may grant compensation in money, compensation in money, uh, setting aside a contract. Section 39, when cancellation of a deed may be ordered. Section 40, what instrument may be partly cancelled? Section 41, power to require compensation from the party for home instrument is cancelled. Section 42. Section 42 discusses about the matter which is discretional power of the court as to the declaration of status or right. Status or right. Section 43. Effect of a declaration of rights or status. Section 44 discusses about the appointment of receiver discretionally. Discretionary. I mean, this is the uh, discretional power of the court. Section 45 to Section 51 are omitted. And that has, has been included in the chapter Age. Section 52, 52 discusses about the preventive relief how given. Section 53 discusses about uh, the injection either temporary or perpetual. And part of this matter you have to remember this point, uh, section 53 discusses the definition of perpetual injection and temporary injection. Section 54 discusses about the perpetual injection when granted. I think section uh, 54 discusses about the condition by which any type of injection is granted and section 55 is discusses about the mandatory injection section 56 discusses about the con condition by which any type of injection has been refused or rejected section 57 discusses about the injection to perform a negative uh, uh, agreement that is not a contact. Okay, my dear student, I think you must be benefited by my English speaking about the section of this act. The act is the Specific Relief Act 1877. I think if you are benefited, of course, you must inspire me on this matter in order to do such type of work ladder. Okay, my dear honorable guys, no more today. Bye and see you again.